These flickering images of a bygone Afghanistan, a century captured on film, were nearly lost. During the Taliban's rule, its leaders ordered workers at Afghanistan's National Film Archive to gather their entire collection of historic and cinematic celluloid to be burned. <laughs> Withholding a single frame would mean death. The Taliban asked us, where are the other films? If we find them, we will burn you with them. All our colleagues said with one voice, there are no other films. Abibullah and his fellow archivists put their livelihoods above their lives. When they burned a few trucks full of our films, it was a sign for us. The 11 people working here decided to save this archive. Everyone did their part. The gardener boarded up the wall and they plastered over the door. Then we painted it to look like a wall. We even cut the lights above it so no one would notice. Behind that false wall was a treasure trove of films capturing Afghan history and culture. So many they haven't yet been able to go through them all, so it's just possible that somewhere in these dusty archives there lies a masterpiece, an Afghan citizen cane. Now a handful of archive workers are digitally remastering a hundred years of film, removing spots, lines, and discoloration. We fix it. And preserving history one frame at a time. And they're doing it on a tiny budget. We don't have modern computers, printers, or other equipment. We don't even have shelves. Our team works very hard with the limited resources that we have, so we can leave behind a history and pictures for the next generation. It's not Hollywood-style high resolution, but it's enough to protect an Afghan legacy that could otherwise vanish from the screen. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Kabul.